I can see electricity. Hey everyone, here's an experiment I've wanted to try for a while. The idea is to put a working electric circuit into a scanning electron microscope and then use the microscope to probe the circuit while it's operating. So one of the cool things is you can do this with an integrated circuit that you've decapped and in theory you can see the actual traces inside the IC change charge state. So let me show you how I did this. I've been decapping chips for a little while now. I first did a video a couple months ago about it and I use fuming nitric acid to dissolve away the package after milling a little pocket in the top of the chip. So for this experiment, I wanted to use a circuit that was self-contained. So I went to the venerable 555 timer chip and decapped a few of the CMOS variants of the 555 and then verified that they were still working, uh, soldered up a little circuit onto a socket and just put an LED on it and had it flash very slowly. So I wanted a very long time constant so that I could be sure I was seeing the state change. If it, if it flashed too quickly, it might be difficult for me to see the change in the scanning electron microscope image. I took the LED out of the circuit and replaced it with just a plain old resistor. And the reason for this is that the scanning electron microscope uses a photomultiplier tube to detect the electron signal. And if there's any light inside the electron microscope chamber, that will very much pollute the signal. So I had to switch to just a plain old resistor. And to make sure that the circuit is still working, I connected a current meter in series with the uh, voltage supply. So at about 8 volts, the circuit oscillates between 10, mil 10 milliamps and about 2 milliamps. I mounted the circuit with some double stick tape inside the scanning electron microscope and then hooked up its power leads to one of my unused spark plug insulators in the, in the scope and set it up with a power supply on the current meter and verified that the circuit was still working. I should add that I didn't do anything besides remove the epoxy packaging from the IC. So there's probably an oxide layer on the top of the integrated circuit, but I'll get to that later. I turned on the scope as usual. It's been a while since I've fired it up and I had a problem with my high vacuum gauge. So even though the high, the high vacuum gauge indicated that there was too much air in the chamber over 10 times 10 to the minus 2 tor, but I didn't believe it and pressed the head anyway and it seemed to work. So I'm going to figure out what happened to my pen and gauge. I got the scope ready for inspection, turned on everything, got all the proper labels in place. The output from my scanning electron microscope is an oscilloscope screen. So I set that up and adjusted the contrast and everything. And lo and behold, pretty, pretty soon after I got it set up, I could see the contrast in the image changing in time with the current draw going into the circuit. So I was actually seeing the electricity flow through the circuit, or at least see the charge difference uh, as the circuit oscillated. But I wasn't actually seeing the integrated circuit itself change. What I was actually seeing is the wires around it, and not even the bond wires, I mean just the, the macroscopic wires that I soldered to the, to the uh, chip socket. So I zoomed in a bit on the chip itself, and this actually killed it. So after, <laughs> after a, a few minutes of zoomed in scanning electron beam on the chip, it eventually stopped working. And it, it drew about 13 milliamps, more than the, the 10 it was drawing in its on state before. And if you look closely in the video, you can actually see the wires sort of twitching a little bit. So this is pretty cool. This is actually a diagnostic technique. You don't even really need an oscilloscope probe. You can actually just look at it with a scanning electron microscope and see the charge act changing. So you can see there was sort of a glitch going on in there. Now, I haven't done much debugging to figure out what's going on, but certainly the 555 is fried from the electron beam. I was keeping it down below about 3 kilovolts for the acceleration, but uh, even at that is, is probably enough to build up enough charge inside the chip to destroy it. So for my next trick, I will try decapping the chip and then removing the oxide layer that's on the top with hydrofluoric acid. So this should prevent um, a charge from building up in the insulation on top of the chip. Uh, this might explain why I was able to see the charge change in uh, the electrical conductors near the chip, but not in the IC itself, because there's an insulator over it, a clear oxide layer. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we have a long ways to go here, but I think we'll, we'll pretty soon be able to decap a more complicated chip and run it in the SEM and see what's going on in the die in real time. All right, see you next time. Bye.